Hi, and welcome to my series of videos on customizing your Gmail account. The screen that you see here in front of you is uh, what you get after you first sign up for Gmail. You sign up for the username that you want. Uh, your username at gmail.com will be your email address. And um, once you get everything filled in with your name and uh, your choice of username, it takes you to this screen. You just click, I'm ready, show me my account. Okay, now this is an account that I set up just for social bookmarking. So I use it just for all the emails that I get from social bookmarking sites and to have my virtual assistant come in and manage things. So I've never actually customized anything with this account. So what you're looking at is the same screen that you'll get, aside from all the email I just archived, um, the same screen that you'll get when you first sign up for Gmail. Um, and just to give you a little bit of an overview, you've got a search box here at the top. Now this will let you search any of your mail. Um, there's a wide variety of search um, terms that you can use that will help you find things faster, and I'll cover that in another video. You've also got your compose mail, inbox, buttons down through here. Uh, Gmail has a chat function in the email itself, and you can add any of the contacts from your email. You can also set this up so that it works with AOL Instant Messenger. Uh, you can show yourself as invisible, visible, or set a URL here using your... Uh, when you click on set status, you can just type in your URL. That way anybody that sees you in chat can see the URL to your website. You can come down here that labels. Um, labels replaces folders in a traditional email uh, program. So basically what labels is, uh, they allow you to uh, sort your email so that you can have it by mailing list or you can have it by the person who sent it to you, however you want to do it. Um, but labeling and archiving replaces putting things in folders. Now, the big selling point of Gmail is that you have virtually an unlimited amount of space. If you look down here, it'll show you the percentage that you're using and how much you have. Uh, I have a Gmail account that I've used for five years and never deleted an email that wasn't spam. And I think I'm only using 3% of the total usage that they give you. So it's virtually impossible to use up all your space. Um, you can also use Gmail as a virtual file server if you are on the move. There's the Firefox plugin that lets you use some of this huge amount of space to store files, and I'll cover that again in another video. <coughs> up here you have Archive, Report Spam, Delete, Move To, Labels, More Actions. The Archive function uh, basically allows you to get your email out of your inbox but still find it later. So all of that email that I just highlighted and clicked archive, it's still here and I can use my search box up here and uh, find it if I want to. The other thing that you can do uh, off this basic screen is create filters. Filters are Gmail's way of sorting your email. So you can create this filter and just for example, if you regularly get forwards from your Aunt Sally and you don't want to see the forwards, but you want to see the important mail from Aunt Sally, you would put from Aunt Sally, and most forwards start with the subject forward. So if you did this, then you could go to the next step. Now I obviously don't have any... Hmm. Let's try this again. Um, I obviously don't have any email from my Aunt Sally. So, this is what you would put in. Go to your next step. And it gives you these options. You can skip the inbox and archive it so that you can still get to it later. You can mark it as read, star it. You can put it in a label so you can make a whole label just for Aunt Sally and all of her email or you can just straight up delete it, you know, however you want to do it. Uh, with a lot of the email that I get, I skip the inbox and apply a label. So I regularly get email from a freelance writer's job list, but I'm not always looking for work. I get the email every day whether I'm looking for work or not. So what I do is skip the inbox, and then I have a label that's applied that says freelance writing jobs, and I created that filter so all of my work is, autom all of those emails are automatically sedated in a a, a virtual folder, if you will, so that I can find them later when I want to. 
And that's your guide to setting up your email account, your email inbox, and how to use filters.